In this video, I'll show you two different ways to add a subscription form to your WordPress website. The first method, I'll show you using Elementor. With Elementor, you can connect popular email providers such as ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, ConvertKit, and much more. So I'll show you that method. I'll show you how you can also just get an embeddable form. I'll show you how you can also get an embeddable form from your email provider, such as MailChimp, and then just embed it onto your WordPress website. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we'll start with the simplest method, and that's just to get an embeddable form from your email provider, right? In my case, I'm using MailChimp for this test account. If we just sign in and then we navigate over to audience and then sign up form, so we can create a sign up form and then just link to that sign up form. So this is great if you want to share your subscription form on social media and other platforms, right? We can also add a pop up sign up form, or we can show an embeddable form, which is what we'll be doing in this particular case so we'll just click create embeddable form here so i'll timestamp everything in the description below in the event that you're not using mailchimp right so we've got a simple sign up form here which just says subscribe and it just wants their email address we can go ahead and add additional fields all right so we can show the first name we can enable this field we can add a placeholder text and we can also require their last name phone number birthday and so on so once you're happy with everything, you can just click continue. And then here we've got our embeddable form. Now when we head over to our dashboard, okay, so I'm gonna edit this site here. Let's delete this. And I'm just gonna add our form here. Let's paste in our HTML code. Let's update this. Let's view our website. And this is our website here. And we've got our embeddable form. Again, you can be creative. You can add this form anywhere. You can add it in your footer section. You can add it on your landing page, just like I've done here. So this is method one. Let's have a look at how we can achieve a similar thing using Elementor, which is what we use. All right, so we're going to log into our website. So we're going to navigate over to Elementor and then settings and then integration. Okay, and if you're using MailChimp, you can add your API key here. You can click on this link and it'll take you to the MailChimp documentation showing you how to get your API key. Same for active campaign, um, convert kit, drip, and so on. All right, so essentially you just want to connect your email provider to Elementor, all right? And then now we'll go ahead and just create a form and link that form over to our email provider. So for example, let's create a new page. Let's go add a page and let's hit edit with Elementor. Okay, and now I can go ahead and search for form. Let's add this form. Okay, so we can add any fields that we need, right? For example, we can add a number field here. Not too sure why we need it, but we can add it. <laughs> Okay, let's actually just delete it, right? Let's delete message as well. So we just got name and email. Um, but what we need to do most importantly is where it says action after submit, we need to click on this here and we'll collect in the submission and also the email. But we also want to send this information over to our email provider. So in my case, this is active campaign because that's what we use. And you can just scroll down to where it says so depending on the email provider you use you'll see this new tab here again in my case it's active campaign and essentially here it will be pulling in our list from active campaign we can go ahead and add our list here and then we can map the fields right on our form to the fields that we've got um, in active campaign for example so the email form field here we'll just map it to the email field in active campaign first name again we'll just map it to name and so on right we can also add additional tags whenever someone signs up through this particular contact form so this is a great way to segment your subscribers based on their interests right or wherever they signed up on your website in terms of styling and so on i'm not going to get into this here you can go ahead and style it to suit your requirement also the default styling will highly depend on the theme that you're using right so the theme will influence how this particular subscription form looks on your website like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box